When you think of Mexico, you probably picture a land rich in indigenous roots, vibrant traditions and strong family ties. But hidden in the faces of its people, there's something even more fascinating. Hazel eyes. Shifting between green, gold and brown, hazel eyes are a beautiful rarity. And in Mexico, they tell a deeper story of ancient ancestry, European migration and global connections. How did this rare eye colour find a place in a country where darker features have deep historical roots? And what does it reveal about Mexico's complex DNA? Before we start, I'm on a road to get 1,000 subscribers as a small channel. If you want to help me, please subscribe. In this video, we're diving deep into the genetic journey that brought hazel eyes to Mexico. From the earliest civilizations to the waves of newcomers who shaped the country's future, we'll explore how history, science and migration created this stunning trait. Let me know in the comments if you or someone in your family has hazel eyes. I love to hear where your story began. Hazel eyes are among the rarest and most captivating eye colors in the world. They aren't one solid color like brown or blue, instead they're a mesmerizing blend. Typically hazel eyes show a golden brown center near the pupil that fades outward into green, gray or even amber tones. This shifting effect makes hazel eyes look different depending on the lighting surroundings and even a person's mood. Scientifically, hazel eyes are the result of uneven melanin distribution within the iris. Melanin gives our eyes their color. Lots of melanin produces brown eyes, while little melanin leads to blue hazel eyes sit right in between where moderate melanin combined with light scattering causes a multi-tonal appearance. Globally, hazel eyes are rare, appearing in about 5-8% to 8 of the population but they tend to show up more in populations with diverse genetic backgrounds, places where different ancestries and pigmentations have blended over centuries. That's exactly why hazel eyes have found a home in Mexico. In a country where indigenous, European, Middle Eastern and African histories come together, the genetic complexity is perfect for producing intermediate traits like hazel eyes. They're not just rare, they're a living reflection of rich, layered ancestry. Long before European ships arrived on its shores, Mexico was home to rich and complex civilizations. From the Olmecs to the Maya to the Aztecs, indigenous peoples built cities, developed sophisticated agriculture, and formed intricate societies. Genetically, these populations descended from ancient groups that migrated from Asia into the Americas over 15,000 years ago. In terms of physical traits, most indigenous Mexicans traditionally had darker skin, dark brown eyes, and dark hair. This pigmentation offered protection from the strong sun and was the result of high melanin production, an evolutionary advantage for living near the equator. Before the arrival of Europeans, lighter eye colors like hazel green or blue were virtually non-existent among Native American groups. The indigenous gene pool was relatively homogeneous when it came to pigmentation because of their shared ancient ancestry and environmental adaptations. However, these early indigenous groups formed the deep genetic foundation of modern Mexico. Even today, most Mexicans carry a significant amount of Native American ancestry, especially in the south and central parts of the country. While pure indigenous populations had little genetic variation for eye color, their DNA became an essential part of the genetic blending that would later allow traits like hazel eyes to emerge when new genes entered the mix. The arrival of the Spanish in the early 1500s marked a massive turning point in Mexico's genetic history. With Hernán Cortés and his conquistadors came a wave of European DNA forever changing the genetic landscape of the Americas. Along with new languages, religions and cultures, the Spanish brought new genes, including those for lighter hair, lighter skin and hazel eyes. Many of the Spanish settlers came from regions like Extremadura, Andalusia and Castile, areas where hazel and green eyes were relatively more common due to centuries of genetic blending across southern Europe and the Mediterranean. Some Spanish also carried North African, Jewish and Moorish ancestry, adding even more complexity to their genetic profiles. As Spanish men intermarried, or in many cases had children, with indigenous women, a new mixed heritage population was born, the mestizos. Over generations, mestizo communities grew, blending European and Native American ancestries into something uniquely Mexican. It's in this blending that traits like hazel eyes began to appear. While the majority of mestizo descendants inherited darker traits from their indigenous ancestors, 
the infusion of European genes allowed for greater variability. Every now and then, when two carriers of the right pigmentation genes met, hazel eyes emerged, a visible marker of Mexico's colonial past. By the time Mexico declared its independence in 1821, the genetic foundation of modern Mexico was already firmly in place, a rich layered tapestry woven from indigenous roots and European branches. And in some faces, hazel eyes stood as a shimmering reminder of that convergence. Mexico's genetic story didn't stop with the Spanish conquest. Over the next few centuries, new waves of immigrants added even more diversity to the population. And with it, even more chances for rare traits like hazel eyes to appear. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, Mexico welcomed immigrants from Italy, France, Germany, Lebanon, Syria, and other parts of the Middle East. Each of these groups brought their own unique genetic backgrounds, including a higher frequency of light eye color genes in some cases. For example, French settlers during the time of Emperor Maximilian and Lebanese immigrants during the late 1800s integrated into Mexican society, marrying into local families and adding new layers to the country's already mixed genetic heritage. These groups often carried traits like lighter skin, lighter hair and eye colors ranging from brown to hazel or green. And in northern states like Nuevo Leon, Tamaulipas, and parts of Baja California, European and Middle Eastern ancestry is especially strong. This explains why you might find more people with hazel or even green eyes in these areas compared to the south, where indigenous ancestry is more dominant. Mexico's openness to diverse influences over time made it a genetic crossroads where indigenous, European, Middle Eastern, and even African roots combined. And in that complex, colourful mixture, hazel eyes found fertile ground, appearing as rare but stunning reminders of centuries of migration, resilience and cultural blending. Although hazel eyes can appear anywhere in Mexico, they are noticeably more common in certain regions, especially where European and Middle Eastern ancestry is stronger. In northern Mexico, states like Nuevo León, Coahuila, Chihuahua, Sonora, and Baja California show higher rates of lighter eye colors, including hazel. These areas historically received more immigration from Spain, France, Germany, and the Middle East, and they have slightly lower levels of indigenous ancestry compared to southern Mexico. Families with deeper roots in these regions sometimes pass down hazel or green eyes through generations. Mexico City is another hotspot. As the capital and a major center of immigration and mixing, the city's diverse population includes people with indigenous, European, Middle Eastern and even Asian roots, all combining to create a broad variety of eye colors, including hazel. In contrast, southern Mexico, especially states like Oaxaca, Chiapas and Guerrero, tends to have stronger indigenous ancestry where brown eyes remain almost universal. Regional differences in hazel eye frequency aren't just about geography. They're a reflection of history. Where populations blended more freely or had more outside influence, genetic diversity soared, and so did the chances for rare and beautiful features like hazel eyes to appear. Hazel eyes in Mexico carry more meaning than just beauty. They are a visual symbol of the country's rich blended identity. In a land where indigenous, European, African, and Middle Eastern ancestries weave together, Hazel eyes reflect the complexity and resilience that define the Mexican spirit. In Mexican media, from telenovelas to cinema, characters with hazel or lighter eyes are often portrayed with a sense of mystery or uniqueness. Although darker features remain dominant and celebrated, hazel eyes are seen as exotic and striking, a hint of unexpected history in a familiar face. Culturally, Mexicans have a deep understanding that identity isn't simple. Many families proudly trace their roots to multiple continents, and hazel eyes sometimes spark family stories about great-grandparents from Spain, an ancestor from Lebanon, or a forgotten French surname. In indigenous communities and mestizo families alike, hazel eyes represent something powerful, connection and survival. They show how generations adapted, mingled and created something entirely new out of histories that once seemed separate. Hazel eyes are a reminder that Mexican identity isn't about fitting into a single mold. It's about honoring every thread in the tapestry, from ancient civilizations to colonial settlers, from revolutionaries to modern dreamers. In Mexico, to have hazel eyes is to carry a story in every glance, a story of mixing, migration, and the endless beauty that comes from embracing every part of who you are. 
If you enjoyed this dive into Mexican DNA and the story of hazel eyes, please like the video and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Hazel eyes in Mexico are more than a rare genetic trait. They're living proof of centuries of movement, blending, survival, and cultural pride. Every flash of gold, green, or brown in a hazel gaze tells a deeper story about where we come from and how beautifully our histories can merge. If you or someone in your family has hazel eyes, let me know in the comments and share where your story begins.